we wanted to create something that would make people think and make people talk. The point, I think, was to try and get people involved in their local environment. It was a story that had been put together from a lot of people living in this area that was actually quite special about the way in which the space could be used. Well, I think initially people were quite suspicious about the possibility of doing something as, as wacky as a theatre project in an underpass. If you wanted to see this place being co-produced, where the community and the and the state and voluntary organisations work together to do something really significant, really different here, you're not going to get to that through having a couple of public meetings. You've got to find new ways to get people together, get people talking. really exciting space. I think even in the current climate, or perhaps because of the current climate of lack of money, people will need to take more ownership of it and there is that potential that people can do things. You could grow food here, you could do all sorts of quite exciting things with this space and it, and it necessitates people coming together and doing that as a group. Instead of people being isolated in their own homes, it means that they can actually come out and have a sense of community but also be involved in what's actually going on and it stops them being so isolated and insular within themselves within if these projects go out in the community. It gave, gave people an opportunity to participate in something in their local area. This so-called public space is actually very much council space mm. and people, where people have control over their lives is in their own homes. Mm. And I think one of the things that it does to that an event like that does in terms of yeah, breaking those boundaries mm. is giving the potential for this to actually become space that the people here govern. <laughs>